Hello, everybody. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and it's time to talk about Jeff Goldblum, because Jeff Goldblum has now walked into a <laughs> fire online uh, because a news reporter asked him a question that was completely not relevant to the subject at hand uh, and asked why he still works with Woody Allen. Uh, he's there to promote his new Disney Plus show, and of course, this uh, reporter needs to get some clicks, so he asks Jeff Goldblum uh, about Woody Allen and then makes it his headline. Uh, makes it his headline, and then uh, if you go through the article, let's let's actually go through the 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 piece at hand. Uh, makes it sort of a big part of the uh, piece, and because of that, uh, all media now a lot of media is just running with it. Uh, did Jeff Goldblum really just defend Woody Allen? Unfortunately, yes. Goldblum provokes online controversy, saying he would consider working with Allen again. Uh, e two Jeff Goldblum, Thor actor defends Woody Allen. Uh, I think there's presumption of innocence. Yeah, yes, there is. Okay. Uh, it, it's insane. Now, because he, uh, you know, made it, pulled, this reporter just pulled a quote and Goldblum answered honestly and defended a working relationship with a friend he had who he clearly knows more than most of these reporters and people online know. Uh, now we have to be angry at Jeff Goldblum for some reason. Now, it's important I say, I, I don't believe this is Jeff Goldblum getting canceled. I do think the term canceled is now getting overused to a point, which is frustrating because people who have actually been canceled are now, uh, you know, being compared to others. And I'm going to talk about that at a later point because it's it's complicated to to fit that all in another video here because I want to focus on this story because terms, it's specifics on terms. But the reason Jeff Goldblum's not canceled is because he's going to keep working fine. It's not going to really affect him that much. Uh, But what's really frustrating is this sort of the mob pushing of, now accusations and things coming out of nowhere. Uh, he's being bullied. He's being people are just lying uh, and stirring up a narrative of their own to then you know attempt to do their own sort of activism. So we talked about it with Obama, this sort of woke culture now of if anybody sees wrongdoing uh, in order to get clicks online through not only just the media but on their own Twitter feeds, we have to stir up the controversy and say Jeff Goldblum's a monster. And that is where we have a problem. That is where society is falling apart. It's just they don't even understand or see the the problem with that. And so I want to break down like sort of how this is all going down and why it's inaccurate. If we look online, it's uh, you know all now the Twitter headline and everywhere else, uh, and then you know people are getting upset. We, we go to the actual article itself. Uh, this is what's bold. I know I enjoyed working with Woody Allen many years ago. I sat in with his band once too. I also admire his body work, so I would consider working with him again until I learned something more negative. Here's what he pulls, right? Now, let's actually read the quotes. This is is like a little sleazy thing the author did. Uh, This is what he wrote. I think there is a presumption of innocence until proven guilty. I know I enjoyed working with him many years ago, and I sat with his band once too. Even though I feel like this cultural shift to the Me Too movement is very, very positive and long overdue, and I support it wholeheartedly, and I take it very seriously, I also admire his body of work. So I would consider working with him again until I learned something more negative. Now, people take this, and of course, they're pulling just uh, one quote or one, two. They're not given the whole context of what he said. Uh, And those other two parts are really more important to me than even what's been bolded. Uh, But of course, what's more salacious? Oh, Jeff Goldblum says he would work with Woody Allen. Uh, You know what that's going to do? A lot of reclicks. Oh, people are going to talk about this. Oh, moo, 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 let's get it. Uh, It's just, it's, it's, it's crazy. So that's what works in this day and age, and that's what's going to get the clicks, and that's what gets people all going crazy. Uh, Rationalizing his stance based on positive history with the alleged predator and not based on the severity of the allegations of molestation. Because, yeah, you know, let's make sure those allegations are so extreme that we can't then presume he's innocent they, they, it's these allegations are so extreme he must be guilty he must be so you know what out of society get out of here jeff goldblum no more we don't want you we don't want your kind because you're supporting uh something that i'll get to woody allen i don't want to but i'm going to talk about woody allen uh but this is maddening this is maddening and then not only does it go from you know people all across the line hating him and there's 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 tons of them i'll, I'll get to that i jumped to that photo too soon we'll get to that um but there's so many other Twitter things online that sort of explain this. It's now jumped to, remember a couple weeks ago when some journalists were murmuring about the, there being stories about Goldblum? Literally, now it's gone from, oh, Jeff Goldblum's worked for Woody Allen. Oh, remember those? Remember those rumors? Remember those murmurs that 
Some journalists were saying about maybe there being stories about Goldblum. Oh, I think Esther Rosenfeld just cracked the whole code. She, let's let's trash his house. Let's go burn his, his whole family down, right? Get out of here. Bravo. He, she's right. The, there were murmurs, apparently, so says Esther, that he's a monster because some journalists said, you know, we're murmuring about it, that that might happen. So let's get the pitchforks. Let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> this is insane. This is insane. So then you go and have to do a little, okay, well, what, 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 I, it was one person, this, this reporter from Slate, uh, and, uh, L, uh, and she, uh, uh, she's, uh, no one is excited about this, but your boy, Jeff Goldblum, she didn't even want to tag him probably for sake of being sued, also has some asks that we may not, we may or may not ever hear about. Literally, she's the one who put this out in the world. I think there's some stuff out there. He's done some stuff that we may or may not ever hear. And then I was extremely hesitant to tweet that. But once more than two people have told me about different incidences, I listen. This is how broad it gets now. This is what happens. This happens. You, you put this out there, uh, and then suddenly someone jumps to the conclusion of, oh, well, there must have been multiple journalists. No, she says there were two people that told her instances of things, uh, and we'll get to what I suspect those are. Uh, again, uh, but we'll get there in a second. But it's very important you break down this is how it all goes to, 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 to stuff. And then, of course, she's, you know, oh, boy, did I come home to a lot of emails from women with Jeff Goldblum stories. She's, like, inflating it further. So some other people came forward. And some were a lot worse than others. Salacious. Let's make it salacious. Blah, 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 blah. That, that's the only thing I've heard. That, aside from uh, Jeff Goldblum accused of sexual misconduct by several raptors. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, anyway, so this is what I want to talk about. Because this picture, if you go, uh, this, guy, this person, why are people surprised Jeff Goldblum might actually be weird around women? Like, this pic isn't posted on a daily basis. This is important because here's where Jeff Goldblum it does mess up because Jeff Goldblum, if you've ever been in Los Angeles, you can go see Jeff Goldblum do his jazz show. He's like very in it. He's becoming like a rock star in LA and people talk about it. They're like, oh my God, we're going to go see Jeff Goldblum play. And then Jeff Goldblum gets up there and plays jazz and does his little Jeff Goldblumisms and everyone's all stoked. And then guess what? A lot of dudes and women get up all in there and they want to get all handsy with Jeff Goldblum. And then he gets all handsy back. He's probably a little liquored. Who knows? And he just, he's enjoying it. He's the rock star guy. Like, hey, what's going on? And he does pictures like this. I've seen them all over Instagram, Facebook. And I've seen women who are so okay with this that it creates this clear gray area now of like, well, okay, w what happened? Uh, wh wh was this, did, did she ask him to, to pose like this? Is he just dumbly doing it? Is he just sort of there all over him? So then he gets all over her. This is where it's complicated, folks. Uh, is this sexual assault? Uh, you know, this is what's going to happen now. So in Jeff Goldblum's world, the world according to Jeff Goldblum, he probably should have someone there helping him wise off the photos because in this day and age, all it takes is one photo where the girl's like, put your hand on my neck. And then suddenly he tried to strangle me at a show behind that. That's literally what can happen. Uh, at the same time, he's going to get, he's got these girls all over him all on the shows and he's an older guy and not to excuse it. But then of course, I, I, you're there, you feel like you're a rock star and like, they're all like, yay, Jeff, go cool. I'm with Jeff. Woo. And then he's all like, yeah, nice hair. Huh? And then hey, she's not saying anything. And he gets to touch some hair and then, woo -hoo, yeah, Jeff Goldblum, man. nice to see you, sexy ladies. And then he walks away and moves on with his life. And then they're like, oh my God, yes, Jeff Goldblum touched your hair. But then of course, there's going to be a few who are like, ew, why did Jeff Goldblum touch my hair? And you know what? They have a right to say that. They have a right to say that. That's where things are going to get a little hairy for him, <laughs> pun intended. Uh, and I can see that's where maybe some of these stories came about. And look, until something more serious actually comes forward and people are going to actually accuse him of something, then we can take those allegations. You know, we have to take those allegations seriously. And then we have to listen to Jeff Goldblum and what he says. And I, I can only imagine it's going to be a very complicated thing if that is what the case is. Uh, because he's opened himself up to doing that. And that's where the world we live is. If celebrities can't get handsy with fans anymore, uh, even if the girls are all draping themselves all over them, which happens a lot, believe it or not, but fans did it to me. And that sort of creates a mindset of, oh, I guess this is what people want. And I've learned, obviously, through my own actions, that's not fair. And I, I, you shouldn't just assume that. And Jeff Goldblum should know better and not get all handsy. At the same time, there's times where women probably wanted him to get handsy. So what is a Jeff Goldblum to do? It, it's a, may I touch your hair, I guess, is what he should say. It's a complicated area that we're getting into. And regardless of those allegations, 
I don't even see any allegations of somebody accusing him of that. I, I, not broadly, not anywhere I've seen. Uh, and that's the only thing I, I can sort of assume is what's happening uh, with Jeff Goldblum. So what's so frustrating, though, is the media now, you know, and Twitter just jumping to conclusions to take it to this next place of, oh, my God, he's a monster because he defended Woody Allen. Now, look, let's get to Woody Allen. The subject of Woody Allen is a complicated subject. I am not equipped to handle it. I have not been able to, to go through all of the court filings and things. But what I have mustered to gather is that it's a very complicated case. And Woody Allen absolutely has been creepy in the past because he did hook up with his very young stepdaughter. That's weird. Uh, sorry, it's weird. It is absolutely weird. Now, you have uh, you and I both have our own rights to judge that if we want to, and many people have. And you know what? That's they're right. Uh, and I don't not gonna not gonna knock anyone who wants to knock him for that. And you know what? That for a lot of people, that's enough for sort of be like you know what? No, screw Woody Allen. Okay, I I can see that. But this sort of now push of people making being so vocal that now Jeff Goldblum is a sexual predator as well because of that is complicated because here's the, here's the problem. Woody Allen made a creepy thing. He, he dated his stepdaughter, but that that's kind of not an issue for me anymore. I'm sorry. It's not because I care about what she thinks to be honest. And she's fine with it. And back in the day, 1992, she, you could read the articles. They're still married, which is very telling. So I don't know, sexual predators, like all for young girls, you'd think she, he would have leveled up by now and found some other young girl to be with. But no, they're still married with adopted kids. So uh, look, I can't be one to speak for love or where you find it. And I do think it's weird. But if you really go read about it, she's got his back and she's had his back for multiple decades. And they're still together. And the reality is, yes, it's weird. But the bigger reality is, of course, that's going to make Mia Farrow go crazy. I, I can relate and I feel bad. I genuinely understand why the case of Mia Farrow and then Dylan Farrow has gotten so complicated. And if you go down those cans of worms and you read the actual web to find out, well, what did Woody Allen actually do? Uh, there's weird stuff on both sides. There truly, truly is. And there's actors like Alec Baldwin who have come forward and said, I've spoken to Alan, Scarlett Johansson did this too. I've asked the tough questions and he's given me really solid answers and I believe him. And so, look, there's people who believe Mia Farrow. There's people who believe Woody Allen. It's a divorce is really what it was. But then, sadly, what coupled with it was this uh, accusation of molestation of Dylan Farrow, who now is very vocal about it. Uh, and, you know, some people just, it you know, doesn't matter, right or wrong. I have to believe Dylan Farrow. And I I'm sorry, I don't want to be disrespectful to Dylan Farrow, but I, I also don't want to be disrespectful to Woody Allen because the truth is, I don't know, she was very young at the time, and I just – when divorces happen, and in specifically this divorce, Woody Allen's dating the stepdaughter, it's hard to not think that perhaps, perhaps, something was taken incorrectly. And that's what spurred everything that's now what we're hearing about. So that's where my stance on this is. So I, I look, I don't know, and I'm not trying to defend or say one way or the other, but it's just the point of the same thing that Jeff Goldblum has a right to say. Who knows? We don't actually know. And you have the right to not support Woody Allen. If you believe not only just from the accusation, but it's weird he dated his stepdaughter. I'm sorry, I just find that weird. I don't want to support a guy who did that. Okay, that's your right. And it's also Jeff Goldblum's right to support his friend. That's the biggest issue of this video and what I'm trying to get through. So many people, and I hope we all can unite on that. Why is Jeff Goldblum not allowed to support his friend? Why should we be on Twitter saying, oh, I thought Jeff Goldblum was one of the good ones. Oh, I hate that I can't watch his movies again. W why? For wh what purpose? Because you're following a mob? Because people out there are telling you you have to? Because they know better? They don't know better. They really don't know better. And that's what's so scary about the world we live in. And if you go and you, you just go on Twitter to see now what's happening to Jeff Goldblum because he's defending Woody Allen? Like, what? Not him. Please, not him. I, can I have one nice thing? First we lost Hannibal, now then Jeff Goldblum, and uh, whatever. Uh, just didn't Woody Allen marry his girlfriend's adopted daughter? That's guilty AF. Again, assumptive. Uh, no one told me this week that it would have ended with Jeff Goldblum in the bin. Uh, Jeff Goldblum is out. No one is safe. Uh, it, just, it, just, it just keeps going and going. Damn, so disappointed. Oh, well, one more in the trash pile. Jeff Goldblum, you're gone. For sticking up for Woody Allen. I think there's presumption of innocence. This person tweets this and says, oh, well, you're in the trash pile because you believe in presumption of innocence. Innocent until proven guilty is gone. In social media, uh, it's gone. 
it's just, it's no longer, you cannot defend people. And here I am doing it, but I'm already canceled. So what can I uh, do? Uh, Jeff Goldblum defending Willie Allen just goes to prove all men really are trash and I'm sad. All men are trash because I'm sure the Antichrist here knows so, has really gone through the court papers to really know the full truth. Good job. So now all men uh, are destroyed <laughs> because of, this is what's happening. This is crazy. I, I don't understand what, what we're doing. This is just... <laughs> uh there are some uh, uh, there's some people who defend thank God and that's why I'm here Jeff buddy really rethink this uh, uh, anyway I don't I don't know what to do I don't know what to say I just I want to point it out because it frustrates me it frustrates me because look Woody Allen I understand the confusion I understand it I understand why people are mad because beyond even the accusations of Dylan Farrow which I, I don't know I just don't know uh, he dated his stepdaughter. It's weird. At the same time, I don't know. I don't know what happened. So what do you really know? Why are we doing this? Why do people feel so important that they feel like they had to be such a strong advocate that they'll destroy someone's life, potentially, and write them off forever because they don't believe in what they believe in? Where are we as a society where we can't have a conversation? Where are we as a society where we can't know, okay, maybe Jeff Goldblum knows more than I do. You know what? I don't like Woody Allen, but Jeff Goldblum, do whatever you want. Who cares? Who cares? I mean, it's maddening. So that's what was frustrating to me today. I wanted to share that and get it off my chest because it makes me just so frustrated to watch this continuing to happen every day on Twitter. Uh, and I also want to do a quick shout out, separate story. Uh, for those that watch Screen Junkies, a sad today, uh, Christopher Dennis, who played the Hollywood Superman, he was in a lot of Screen Junkies videos. Uh, he, we made some weird videos with him, and he was he was odd in those videos, I'll be frank. But I also felt like we really did make him the butt of a lot of jokes. Uh, and I was sad to see this, and it, it made me a little reflective of, uh, the guy was really had it had it on the outs. He they burned his someone burned his costume and then he was homeless for the longest time. And I really do believe he probably had some mental disorders and things that he was just stuck with. And he was always so generous and nice to us. And I felt really bad about this. Uh, he he was trying to he, he was homeless and then he was apparently he got into a, a clothing donation bin in Van Nuys. Uh, and he was just looking for something clo to wear, but then got stuck in there. Uh, just really sad to hear. And I, I my heart went out to him. Because uh, he was a good guy to us. He was always there for us. And he was so keen on just being there for the kids and the people on Hollywood Boulevard. Like, just trying to make a smile. Uh, and I'm sorry, Christopher, for what I did on those videos, my part in those videos. I, I didn't mean to, to make you the butt of the joke. And we did make you look a little creepier. Uh, and I, I was very interested in like, like, whoa, let's let's push the story because I was going for salacious headlines. Uh, and I don't want to do that anymore. So, look, I'm, I'm, I, I share that at the end of the story because I'm as guilty as everybody else. I've done it. I've been there. We all have to be better. We all have to stop assuming that we know where people are coming from. We have to stop assuming we know their stories. We have to stop labeling them certain ways. We have to open dialogues, have conversations, and be just just more understanding of everybody. That's what we gotta, gotta learn. Uh, we have to be, be careful of what reading what we read uh, online as truth, as gospel. It most often is not. Uh, there's always two sides to every story. Sometimes there's a third, the actual truth. Uh, so you gotta really take relationship drama online with a grain of salt because emotions get in the way. Co clearly, people aren't always the best witness. Uh, so. Take that all as you will. Rest in peace, Christopher Dennis. I'm sorry if we, you know, caused you any trouble. I hope we didn't. I, I, I know a lot of people enjoyed those videos still, uh, but uh, best to him and his family. Uh, and to all of you out there, just be wise, be better. Uh, let's just try to be better with each other. If you see someone out there getting hounded, uh, even if you don't want to get involved publicly, I, so many that you do it to me, you write me a DM or personal note to sort of, of support. Thank you for sticking up or saying your, saying your piece. It always means the world to me. So keep them coming. I'll try and send them back to you all as well. Thank you so much for watching. You can follow me as always on Twitter, Instagram, and stay tuned uh, this Tuesday at 9 p.m. relaunching Nerd Wars. If you didn't see the announcement, I'll be posting another video about it specifically soon as well as last night's announcement video. Go check it out. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a good day. Bye.